Welcome back, Rich Nation. My name is AJ, and today we're going to be continuing One Piece episodes 474 and 475. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. You can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com slash AJRich123. And let's go ahead and start. Yeah, it's like your favorite live show just got shut off in the middle of a good part. They never got that resolved, so they're still thinking that. They're watching too. Exactly. But the rookies are watching. So they're all still back there. Feels like almost a hundred, like at least 50 or so episodes ago. Actually, how many episodes ago was that? It really does feel like forever. Oh yeah. This was the last thing that happened. The magma fists. This battle just gets crazier and crazier. How many of those can he do? The tide just keeps turning back and forth every couple episodes. Oh yeah, that too. This is some shitty terrain. And there's nowhere to run to. You got beams going at you. You got boiling hot water, magma going to your face. God damn. So that it doesn't work on the wall. I don't think that little... <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work! Oh. The ship they've been riding in, I mean... You think about, like, how the Mary like felt and was treated for Luffy and everybody. I try to think of like everybody's ship, uh, like for a crew probably feels like that. And pro they probably have the same feelings or something at least close to it. So seeing like the Moby Dick and like for all these people that have rode on that forever, they probably feel very close to it in the same type of like just a very close connection. They've been riding on that forever. So I can imagine how they're feeling about it being burnt down. Of course that would affect the captain the most. Wow. Oh, yeah. It's not like there isn't a path, but if there's any path, though, even if there isn't, Luffy's going to try to get to it. <laughs> Never stop screaming. The problem is that's there's no time to think about it. Of course they want that. I just, I knew Luffy was going to run towards it, no matter what. I mean, Luffy's never going to stop. That's obvious. 
But all I keep thinking about is like, what are you going to do once you're there? Once you're standing in front of them. And you're already like, you've already had so many fights and so worn out by this point. That already puts you at a disadvantage just by itself. What? Is he passing out? Is that what that's symbolizing there? Like, that was an like an interesting shot. Like he finally ran out of energy. Wow, his scream matched Luffy's scream ace. Yeah, it didn't just turn a little bit. The tides turned and just slammed right into all of them. How do you come back from this type of disadvantage? Oh, he's still... He's still awake? He's still alive? I actually thought he was dead. Or at least completely knocked out at this point. God damn. Yeah, you... Someone needs to grab him. Jimbei, maybe? Like the last time? I... I'm waiting for like a shot or something. This can't go good. Maybe a... Like a motivation boost? They all still side with them too. Thank God they're there. You can't, it's not like he can defend this. You can't dodge. While they're distracted with him, there's gotta be something they can do. No. He's just gonna finish him. Normal gunshots aren't gonna work on him as much, but this could kill him. This is bad. Oh. Oh shit. What is, what? What is this doing though? Like, Luffy asked for a favor, so. I wouldn't think he'd be pushed in the water, but he was in the wa Wow. Because like he can manipulate like the, wa like whatever he was doing with the water there or moving the water. I just never think like water as transportation for Luffy, but he was hanging on to that as well. Kind of awesome. <laughs> You're not scared. At least the way he says it, you can't even, you can't take him seriously. But now what? Exactly! You're going to level 100 when you're level two! You're not ready for this! Oh God! But he has to. Like... Trump card. I guess, yeah, use this as an opportunity to charge. Obviously, Luffy's not going to be able to do this himself, but... Yeah, goddamn. Okay, I... We know Luffy's going to go in no matter what. That's, like save ace do whatever he does he does not care how outmatched he is he's always gonna be like that but i was worried this is the point i was worried like since they've gotten here that what is luffy gonna do once he's in front of all of them once he's there what like what is he gonna do he's not gonna be able to defeat them by himself it's he's just not 
at that strength level. There, it's just very obvious from losses he's taken from other people that he's not able to do this himself. So we see, you know, Jimbe, he asked a favor from him to be, and that was a sneaky, that was like not something I thought was going to be the way he would get there. So that was cleverly done. Um, now it can be kind of used as a distraction, but also a kind of a way to push, use the momentum and push back. And I keep saying this, the momentum, everything just keeps swinging back and forth, back and forth. Now they're, they're maybe at a slight advantage for a second, but I still, like I said, I'm still worried Luffy's there, but now he could be taking the bulk of the damage because they're right there in front of him. I, I, this whole time I've been afraid of what's going to happen now or what's going to happen once they're there. But if Whitebeard and everybody can get in there, then maybe this won't turn into like a 3v1 against Luffy or something like that. And it can become maybe a little bit more spread like this. He, cause that was my fear was like, Luffy's going to get there, but he's going to be the only one to get there because he's charging ahead and everyone else is going to have to go to fights. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy that, like, he might have some help at this point. We already know this is a bad situation. I was going to say that's probably his best bet, but yeah. Because he can't directly fight all of them. <laughs> this is not good. Somebody? Anything? Or are they actually going to do it? Oh my god, just freaking do it, please. Like, do it or don't do it. So it's gonna happen. Fuck. Or not. Okay, like, that was such a large... That was, like, such a large instance. I'm like... That I... Like, part of me thinks there's no way they're gonna, like, kill somebody off like that. The show has been particularless in, like, not really like killing people I, like we've seen some crazy shit happen people get shot and stuff but like a big character like ace that's why i was just like when somebody gonna show is somebody gonna show up is something gonna happen what i like i i had like a two percent chance I, like two percent of my mind chance that he was gonna actually die here but like somebody's gotta save him Who is it? Oh, Crocodile! Crocodile! That's fucking random! He's the one to save him? What a fucking twist out of anybody that could have saved him! He's got sand. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the fuck out of me for a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, for half a second, my brain forgot that he was sand. Like, my brain forgot he was sand for a second. So, I like, oh my God. That, that just gave me half a heart attack. Oh my God. Just for half a second. I'm really glad he didn't side with him oh okay let's just have another fight okay back to fully saving ace because you he's not you distracted for a second but he's not saved per se here Though he did save him from death. I'm still like, that is big. Every single person is going to get in the way. There's just too many. Oh, 
Oh, well, there you go. There's still people to... Yeah, there's still people to fight. I like him. <laughs> oh, he wasn't in there. Okay. What are you going to do, though? Oh, yeah. Everybody's going towards that entrance now. Even though they already tried to kill Ace, they can still continue. It's not like... It's not like they don't have more swords, right? Like, they have... Uh, so, they still need to save him. I'm sure there's a plenty of swords in this place. I mean, swimming through there is hard enough, and then you got, like, giant balls coming right to your face. That's just bullshit. Oh! Another ship from underneath? Is it just one that got there late or something? Uh, yeah, and what about the, uh, everybody else? Jesus. Oh, shit. I didn't even think about, like, backup plans and having more. Oh. Is that, like, a backup Moby Dick or something, or... Or like a white beard backup ship. That's a lot of people on one ship though. How is it not sinking? Ah, uh, okay. So that was the Trump card he was talking about? So maybe this one can take more damage possibly, especially if they were holding it. Strate yeah, strategy-wise. Because Ors is the one that's holding that area. To so if they got rid of Ors, then... Yeah. Then it wouldn't be able to... This wouldn't be able to happen. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, everybody got in now. Yeah, now... Now they're at an advantage. Thank God. He held on just enough to be able to get them all in. I guess everybody underneath him just ran as fast as possible not for him to fall on them well if you thought it wasn't real already now shit's gonna get really real i don't know why moria is still smiling oh oh shit now this is hype God, every time he does that move, it's just, it feels just like on a completely another level than everybody else. But, oh, yeah, how much strength does he have at this point? He does seem pretty worn out.
Nope. He's got to fight. I mean, Luffy has said that for like 50 episodes now or so. That seems to be the uh, the words Luffy has said. Do we have a count on that? How many times has he screamed Ace or said he's going to rescue Ace in the last 50 to 100 episodes? It seems like it's been quite a bit. Um, I mean, not to take away from him getting this far because that was a feat in itself, but... Yeah, now, and I keep saying this because the battles just keep getting crazier and crazier, but now we're at an, like another level with Whitebeard in the midst of it, actually ready to do, I mean, the main guys, you got Luffy's grandpa up there as well. Now, and like all the strongest people all in one spot, it's going to get real really fast. Um, I, uh, you know, in the beginning, of the, to go back to the beginning of the episode, when Ace was, uh, they were getting ready to execute him and they were swinging the swords down. Like, I felt nervous, but at the same time, it was just, everything screams at me that some, especially since not everybody was even in there yet, but you would think, like, somebody was gonna save him, something was gonna happen. I just, did anybody, was anybody, let me know in the comments, was anybody actually thinking that he was gonna lose his head right there? Like, was anybody like 100% set and sure? Because me, it was just a very tiny chance. And that would have blown my mind. No joke. If he <laughs> if he had lost his head there, I, I would have blown my freaking mind. Because everything screams at me that like somebody's got to save him. Something's got to... Or they stop or something's got to happen. Now, Crocodile doing it was surprising as hell. Because I thought he was way... First of all, I thought he was way further back. Like, uh, so I did, he must have like somehow got over there insanely fast, or maybe we just off screen, he'd, he had been making his way over there, but that's just the last of the people I would have thought that would have been able to get there. I didn't think Luffy would have been able to get there to, to save him in that spot. He was too far away, but man, that was, that was pretty shocking. Um, yeah, man, great. I mean, great episodes. I think the last really the last couple arcs but this entire arc in general and then uh impel down just like there really hasn't been a bad episode like i like even really a slow one everything has just been so intense especially the last like 20 ish episodes or so everything has just been so intense and like has me like right on the edge every time that that i mean this is really this really feels like like an extreme high for this show and that's saying something like because there's just been so many good parts of this show but this really feels like a high to me um but anyway if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe smash that like button hit that notification bell you can also check out these episodes early and uncut over on patreon.com ajrich123 thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time Bye bye